Hi there, I'm Wynn Pedini from SAS Tribe, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a tool called Topic Mojo. And this uh, does a similar job to another tool called Answer the Public, which costs roughly $1,000 a year, and it's currently on AppSumo. So I was excited to have a play with this tool and to give it a quick run through. So let's do that now. Okay, so here we have the Topic Mojo dashboard and you've got two things that you can do at the moment one is to uh, research topics and the other one is to do the questions not a hundred percent sure what the difference is between these but we'll go through both uh, functionalities in a moment and uh, you got this search listening which is a, a paid monthly add-on that's coming later and then you've uh, got all of that so uh, let's look at topic model first I've already put in a query in here so the way that works you put in your keyword uh, in my case, I used Google Tag Manager. I used, uh, chose United States as my target for this, and then English. Clicked on Submit, and then I, uh, I'll just open up the report that I've already generated here. And I believe that uh, the current AppSumo deal gives you 200... Uh, let's have a look here at the limits. Uh, you can stack up to 20 codes. Each code gives you a user. Uh, each code allows you to do 200 queries per month on the topic model and 200 queries per month on the question finder. Gives you one workspace and two lists, whatever lists are. Okay, so this is the model, the model section. You can see that there's a trend, a historical trend of this keyword. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. It tells me something between 0 and 100. I'm guessing that's years. That would be helpful to know what year that was. I'm guessing that this goes back a few years here. And you, you can see as I hover over this that uh, it looks like 2011, 2012, 2013, 14. I guess that's fine. Probably helpful to have um, the word years on this uh, axis here. And then we're looking at search volume per month. And then we've got different tabs here. Now you can kind of like scroll down here like this, or you can click through the tab and that will just narrow it to the actual category that you're looking at. So this one's videos, it shows the, the um, I'm guessing, the more recent videos that are on Google Tag Manager. Now you could just go into YouTube and search, uh, simply search for um, Google Tag Manager if you wanted. Forums. Uh, once again, these are the different forums where the keyword Google Tag Manager is showing up. So I find that quite handy. Um, that's, that's a little bit more useful because you can't simply go into Google and go Google Tag Manager. You have to use the advanced search to find um, to narrow it by forum. So that saves a little bit of time. Uh, tweets, you can see the more recent tweets that have come up. Uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Amazon, same thing here. So what's for sale on Amazon that has Google Tag Manager in it? Um, this is moderately useful. Once again, you can just simply go into Amazon and type Google Tag Manager News. Uh, so this is the, the the Google News articles that are showing up. Uh, and then we have the tree, and this is uh, something that looks familiar to me with Answer the Public. Uh, and then you've got grouping. So the same data uh, as the trees, but it's um, grouped. Okay, so depending on how you like to look at these things, I'm not a huge fan of these uh, of these wheels. They look fancy, but honestly, do you really like craning your neck like this to have a look at it? I don't like doing that. I, I find it highly annoying, and it's kind of takes up my time. However, when I do the same thing in Answer the Public, um, I get a little bit more visual feedback. And the way that Answer the Public does it is they you know, the darker the green here, the more search volume is associated with this keyword. So straight away, I know that these kind of two words here are more more, um, more of a priority than some of these more uh, faded ones here, right? So the way that Answer the Public breaks this down, uh, they've got different categories. You can see this first one here, and then you see the next one here is preposition. So the first one is questions. Then you've got prepositions, 45. Then you've got 25 comparisons. So it's comparing uh, Google Tag Manager to Wix, Google Tag Manager and React, Google Tag Manager and Shopify. Uh, so that's pretty useful. And then it gives you uh, it all in tabula, uh, in tabulated form. 
um, so that you go there and then if you've got a subscription then you can click on the download button and download that to a Excel spreadsheet or um, a Google Sheets spreadsheet and there you go now the way that uh, Topic Mojo does it is pretty similar but the way they categorize it uh, is, is slightly different and that's okay no big deal because as long as you're getting that data there and, and it makes sense that's fine as long as you get used to that so um, pretty similar um, 21 questions comparisons um, you know once again you know Google Tag Manager to BigQuery Google Manager and Shopify so pretty similar data there and it would make sense that they have the similar data because they were pulling this out of um, Google Suggest which is if I put in Google Tag Manager here you know and I put in uh, words like that you know letters it starts predicting what I'm going to do this is where they're getting the data from so there's nothing really special about what this tool does it's, it just makes it easier and quicker for you to get access to that okay then we've got shopping um, so you know uh, it's kind of like e-commerce focused books find cost without so um, it just it just shortcuts you having to uh, think about all this stuff and it makes it a lot quicker all right so then if you go to the bottom it gives you this in alphabetical format which this this part is not useful to me at all zero use this is kind of almost next to useless and uh, my first um, analysis of this I thought that this was equivalent to answer the public's uh, tabular breakdown and, and it's not I don't actually know what this is here it's um, it's got a whole bunch of uh, even though I've said the United States and I know there's a lot of um, Spanish people living in California and in Mexico and stuff so it makes sense that you're going to have some Spanish showing up there I wish there was a button that I could kind of turn the uh, Spanish words on and off toggle that out so that I'm just seeing the um, the actual English words um, because I'm not going to be using uh, words like that in my copy or on my ads okay so there is that but if I go to the top what I've kind of discovered is that you click on grouping and now this gives you a view a me a view that um, is similar to answer the public and is probably uh, equivalent and probably as useful right so what I would like to see here and I don't know if I'm not seeing that because I'm on a free trial so what you're looking at here is the free trial version uh, what I'd like to see is a button that I can click so at the end of each section here you got numbers you got alphabet you got local um, you got research etc so at, at the end of each section what would be helpful is to have a button that you can click that you can download and then uh, maybe a button at the very top and the very bottom that says download all data so click on that gives you a spreadsheet so you don't have to faff around with um, little bits of data here and there okay having said that there's one more suggestion that I would make to the development team and that's this view more button I think that if you've come to the you know looking at the tabular data then you're going to want to see all of it and you, you know we're not talking about thousands and thousands of keywords we're talking about like a dozen keywords here and there it's not a big deal so having to, having to click on this view more and view less is actually a bit of an, an annoyance from a um, productivity point of view I want to just get on with my uh, research pro process so I would be removing that and just showing all of the data um, so that's that and then we've got queries let's have a look at this so this is like your typical keyword research stuff uh, it does give you the type which is shopping phrases etc etc so it's taking all the data there and then I believe that if you've got the uh, depending on which version of the license that you got I believe that you're going to see more data here in terms of the uh, um, the PPC and all of that kind of stuff I don't even know what this stuff does um, so yeah I think I think that would be good to see what that is and what uh, license that you need to be able to access that uh, but I wouldn't personally be using it for that I'd be um, using other tools in my arsenal such as SE ranking um, um, writers in um, I'm probably going to be looking at surfer SEO 
but uh, for that for that kind of data. But in general, uh, this is very useful, especially if uh, you get an extra few buttons here and they can take a take a bit of uh, friction out of the user experience here. I think I think it's going to be highly useful as a tool. This is the second time that I've looked at Topic Mojo. The first time, uh, I may not have been as complimentary about it. Uh, but after spending a bit more time with it, I really like the tool. I think there are some things that they can improve, and if they take on board those suggestions, it will make it into a valuable research tool that you should be adding to your stack, especially when you consider that Answer the Public costs roughly $1,000 a year. Um, Topic Mojo is just $59 at the moment on AppSumo for a lifetime license. Now, if you're an agency, you might want to stack more than those because it gives you more credits more queries, more questions, um, and it allows you to add extra users. So uh, I do recommend that you add this to your stack. Uh, and if you've enjoyed this overview of Topic Mojo, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to our channel because it will help us to grow the exciting things that we have coming with SAS Tribe.